Sleep is an essential aspect of human life, and the importance of sleep has been recognized for centuries. Scientists have studied sleep and its effects on the human body, and they have discovered that the timing of sleep can have a significant impact on our health and well-being. Many people may not realize that going to sleep before midnight is better than going to sleep after midnight. This documentary will explore the reasons why going to sleep before midnight is beneficial to our health and provide insight into how we can make the most of our sleep time. The importance of sleep. Before we delve into the benefits of sleeping before midnight, it is essential to understand why sleep is so important. Sleep plays a crucial role in the functioning of our bodies and minds. During sleep, our body repairs and regenerates cells and tissues, and our brains consolidate memories and process information. Lack of sleep can lead to fatigue, decreased cognitive function, and even physical health problems such as obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. The circadian rhythm. Our bodies are naturally programmed to follow a 24-hour cycle called the circadian rhythm. The circadian rhythm is controlled by a part of the brain called the suprachiasmatic nucleus, SCN, which is located in the hypothalamus. The SCN regulates the release of hormones that control our sleep-wake cycles, including melatonin, which helps us feel sleepy. The circadian rhythm is influenced by external factors such as light and dark, which is why it is essential to maintain a regular sleep schedule. Sleeping at irregular times can disrupt the circadian rhythm, leading to difficulty falling asleep and staying asleep. Why sleeping before midnight is better? There are several reasons why going to sleep before midnight is better than going to sleep after midnight. One of the most important reasons is that our bodies are naturally programmed to sleep during the hours before midnight. The circadian rhythm is regulated by the SCM, and studies have shown that melatonin secretion begins around 9 p.m., reaching its peak between midnight and 3 a.m. Therefore, going to sleep before midnight allows our bodies to align with our natural sleep-wake cycles. Another reason why sleeping before midnight is better is that it allows us to get more deep sleep. Deep sleep, also known as slow-wave sleep, is the most restorative stage of sleep. During deep sleep, our bodies repair and regenerate cells and tissues, and our brains consolidate memories and process information. Studies have shown that deep sleep occurs more frequently in the first half of the night, with the majority of deep sleep occurring before midnight. Sleeping before midnight also allows us to get more REM sleep. REM sleep, or rapid eye movement sleep, is the stage of sleep when we dream. REM sleep is essential for cognitive function and emotional regulation. Studies have shown that the majority of REM sleep occurs in the second half of the night, with the highest concentration occurring in the last few hours before waking up. Therefore, going to sleep before midnight allows us to get more REM sleep and wake up feeling refreshed and alert. Tips for sleeping before midnight. Now that we understand the benefits of sleeping before midnight, let's explore some tips for achieving this goal. One of the most effective ways to ensure you are getting enough sleep. Before midnight is to maintain a regular sleep schedule. Try to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends. This will help regulate your circadian rhythm and make it easier to fall asleep at night. Another tip for sleeping before midnight is to establish a relaxing bedtime routine. This can include activities such as taking a warm bath, reading a book, or practicing relaxation techniques such as meditation or deep breathing. Avoid activities that stimulate the brain, such as using electronic devices or watching TV in the hours leading up to bedtime. Creating a sleep conducive environment. Creating a sleep conducive environment is also essential for getting enough sleep before midnight. This includes keeping your bedroom cool, dark, and quiet. Invest in blackout curtains or an eye mask to block out any light, and use earplugs or white noise machines to drown out any noise that may disturb your sleep. Another tip for getting enough sleep before midnight is to avoid consuming caffeine or alcohol in the evening. Caffeine is a stimulant that can interfere with sleep, and alcohol can disrupt the natural sleep cycle leading to fragmented and less restful sleep. 
Finally, it's important to prioritize sleep and make it a priority in your daily routine. If you have trouble falling asleep before midnight, try implementing relaxation techniques or using natural sleep aids such as melatonin supplements. In addition to the benefits of sleeping before midnight, there are also negative consequences associated with going to sleep after midnight. People who go to sleep late tend to have trouble falling asleep and staying asleep, leading to a lower overall sleep quality. This lack of sleep can lead to daytime fatigue, difficulty concentrating, and mood disturbances. Studies have also shown that people who go to sleep late and wake up late, also known as night owls, may be at increased risk for health problems, such as obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. This is because their sleep-wake cycles are not in sync with their natural circadian rhythm, leading to disruptions in hormone regulation, metabolism, and immune function. Moreover, staying up late can lead to an increase in stress hormones such as cortisol, which can interfere with sleep and contribute to the development of anxiety and depression. A lack of sleep has also been linked to an increased risk of developing neurological disorders such as dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Another factor that can contribute to the negative consequences of going to sleep after midnight is the use of electronic devices. The blue light emitted by electronic devices such as smartphones, tablets, and laptops can interfere with the production of melatonin, making it harder to fall asleep. Additionally, the use of electronic devices before bedtime can stimulate the brain, making it harder to relax and fall asleep. Finally, going to sleep after midnight can also impact our overall productivity and performance. People who don't get enough sleep before midnight tend to have trouble concentrating, making decisions, and completing tasks. This can impact our ability to work effectively, and may even impact our relationships with others. In light of these negative consequences, it's essential to prioritize sleep and establish healthy sleep habits. One way to do this is to set a consistent sleep schedule and stick to it, even on weekends. This can help regulate our circadian rhythm and make it easier to fall asleep at night. Another important factor in improving sleep quality is establishing a relaxing bedtime routine. This can include activities such as taking a warm bath, reading a book, or practicing relaxation techniques such as meditation or deep breathing. Avoid activities that stimulate the brain, such as using electronic devices or watching TV in the hours leading up to bedtime. Creating a sleep-conducive environment is also essential for getting enough sleep before midnight. This includes keeping your bedroom cool, dark, and quiet. Investing in a comfortable mattress, pillows, and sheets can also help improve sleep quality and promote a more restful night's sleep. If you're having trouble falling asleep before midnight, there are also natural sleep aids you can try. Melatonin supplements are a popular natural sleep aid that can help regulate your sleep-wake cycle and make it easier to fall asleep at night. Other natural remedies include valerian root, chamomile tea, and lavender essential oil. Finally, it's important to make sleep a priority in your daily routine. This means setting aside enough time for sleep and avoiding activities that may interfere with your sleep quality. By prioritizing sleep and establishing healthy sleep habits, you can improve your overall health and well-being and reap the benefits of a good night's sleep. It's important to note that the ideal time to go to sleep before midnight may vary depending on individual factors such as age, lifestyle, and genetics. For example, teenagers tend to have a delayed circadian rhythm, which means they may have a harder time falling asleep before midnight. Older adults, on the other hand, may find it easier to fall asleep earlier in the evening. Additionally, some people may have a natural inclination towards being a night owl or a morning person, which can impact their sleep patterns. However, even night owls can benefit from establishing healthy sleep habits and prioritizing sleep in their daily routine. Furthermore, it's worth noting that the amount of sleep a person needs may vary based on individual factors. While the recommended amount of sleep for adults is typically 7 to 9 hours per night, some people may need more or less sleep depending on their individual needs. In summary, going to sleep before midnight 
can have numerous benefits for our overall health and well-being. By aligning our sleep-wake cycles with our natural circadian rhythm, we can improve our sleep quality, promote our overall health, and boost our productivity and performance. It's important to establish healthy sleep habits, prioritize sleep in our daily routine, and seek help if we're experiencing persistent sleep problems. With these strategies, we can ensure we're getting the restful and restorative sleep we need to thrive. Finally, it's important to acknowledge that there may be external factors that make it difficult for some people to go to sleep before midnight. For example, people who work late shifts or have irregular schedules may find it challenging to maintain a regular sleep schedule. In these cases, it's important to prioritize sleep when possible and establish healthy sleep habits, such as maintaining a consistent bedtime routine and creating a sleep-conducive environment. Additionally, people who experience persistent sleep problems, such as insomnia or sleep apnea, should seek help from a healthcare professional. These conditions can have serious health consequences if left untreated and may require medical intervention to improve sleep quality and overall health. Overall, the benefits of going to sleep before midnight are clear, but it's important to remember that establishing healthy sleep habits and prioritizing sleep is a continuous process that requires effort and commitment. With the right strategies and support, we can all achieve the restful and restorative sleep we need to live our best lives.